Hey guys, Scully here from GoatFormat.com and today I'm going to be going over Goat Format Fusion Monsters. So we're going to be summoning the monsters with Metamorphosis. So whatever level you tribute for a monster, you can summon a fusion from your fusion deck of the same level. Uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict. So this is going to be your answer to any face-up monster or any face-down monster. You'll be able to equip your opponent's monster to Thousand Eyes and also will then lock down the field. So Thousand Eyes is the only monster that can attack, the only monster that can change battle positions. Also, if Thousand Eyes would be destroyed by battle, then you're going to destroy the card that's equipped to Thousand Eyes instead. So say you use Thousand Eyes effect on a face down monster, he's not gonna gain any attack or defense, but the monster still be equipped to Thousand Eyes. So then you could say, take your Thousand Eyes, attack your opponent's attack mode, Breaker the Magical Warrior, you'll take 1600 damage. The face down monster on Thousand Eyes that was equipped to him will be destroyed. And the next turn, you can use Thousand Eyes effect to equip another monster, so then you could then take the Breaker the Magical Warrior. Um, the famous GOAT format combo that everyone knows is uh, summon Thousand Eyes Restrict, and then use his effect, and then the next turn, summon Sukiyomi, put Thousand Eyes Restrict face down, flip back over Thousand Eyes Restrict, and use his effect again to equip another monster to him. And that's what's known as a Suki Lock with Thousand Eyes Restrict. Uh, going from level 1 right to level 3, there are no level 2 fusion monsters in GOAT format. So, <clears throat> if Mor Morphin Jar is on the field or an Ojama token, then um, you can't use Metamorphosis to get those off of the field. So we're going to go right to level 3. Uh, Dragonus, the Wicked Knight, 1200 attack, 3-star uh, monster. It's the highest attack point 3-star fusion that we have. Um, you might summon this by tributing your Sangin with Metamorphosis, so then you can use your Sangin's effect and have a higher attack monster on the field as well. Flame Ghost, um, lower attack than Dragonus, but it's a dark, so if you need, say, maybe you have your opponent's uh, three-star monster, not your own Sangin, and you need to get a dark on the field to make your Blackluster Soldier alive, you might snatch deal your opponent's monster, bring out Flame Ghost, or if you're playing uh, a Chaos deck and you have Chaos Sorcerer and Blockster Soldier, two Chaos Sorcerers, you might have double Metamorphosis. So you go Metamorphosis on your Sangin, Metamorphosis on your Flame Ghost, and now you have two Darks on the Grave. Uh, level 4 is the most common level 4 you're going to be summoning. It's going to be Dark Fire Dragon. It has the highest attack and defense, and then it's also a Dark Attribute. Um, this guy actually comes out more than you would think. Most of the time you see him come out will be, um, say, you need to attack your opponent directly, but you only have Tsukiyomi. And if you summon Tsukiyomi, it would have to put itself face down. So you can set or summon Tsukiyomi and make itself go face down, metamorphosis it, and now you have a monster that you can attack with and a monster that'll stay on the field face up. Uh, level 5. So these are probably the most common monsters that you'll summon besides level 1. So Dark Balter, probably the most common out of the level 5s. Um, any monster he destroys by battle, the effect is negated, so he's going to stop Magical Merchant, Magician of Faith. If he destroys Sinister Serpent by battle, your opponent won't be able to add it back to their hand anymore. And then his other effect is you can pay a thousand life points to negate a normal spell card. Um, I've seen some newer players think that this is a mandatory effect. Um, it is optional. You do not have to negate your own spell cards with it. You don't have to negate your opponent's spell cards if you don't want to. Uh, Reaper on the Nightmare. Um, similar effect to Spirit Reaper. Um, if he's targeted, he's automatically destroyed, and he's also not destroyed by battle. But he has the added effect of being able to attack your opponent's life points directly, and then he discards the random card. So he can attack around scapegoats if you need to get it. 800 in, um, he can attack around any monster, then you're going to get a random card for your opponent's hand. Um, the being destroyed by a targeted effect can actually be somewhat useful if your opponent hasn't used Snatch Deal yet and you want and you have out of Air Knight on the field, you might not want to bring out Dark Balter because Dark Balter only negates normal spells, so they could steal your Dark Balter or they could steal your Air Knight. If you put out Reaper on the Nightmare, the worst that'll happen is he'll be destroyed by Snatch Deal. 
Then we have Fiend Skull Dragon, uh, kind of similar to Dark Palter. So his effect is he negates the effects of all flip effect monsters, so it doesn't have to be ones that he destroys by battle. This could be useful if you don't think your battle is going to go through a Dark Palter, because Fiend Skull also has the extra effect of he can't be, if he's targeted by a normal trap card, he negates it. A normal trap card that targets him. So if your opponent has Mirror Force, that's not going to work. But what you can do is, since he's a continuous effect of negating all flip effect monsters, not just ones that are destroyed by battle, you can metamorphose him into defense and then still try to attack around Mirror Force. Or just, even if you put him in attack mode, you could leave him out. Just pass your turn. If your opponent has full effect monsters, they're still going to be negated as long as he's face up on the field. Uh, the last level 5 we hear, have here is Guilt of the Dragon Knight. So he really is going to come up when you're just trying to get a light monster into your graveyard. Um, so say you have Black Luster in your hand and you have an Air Knight on the field. That's your opponent's. You snatch steal the Air Knight, bring out Gilta. Now you have a light that's on the field. If you have another metamorphosis, you could bring you could play it again. So now he's in the grave. Bring out one of your other level fives and summon Blackluster Soldier. So for level six, uh, I think the one that is most common you're gonna see is Ryu Senshi. Um, he's gonna usually level six will be summoned uh, if you're playing a metamorphosis on Chaos Sorcerer. So his effect is kind of similar to Dark Balter, where uh, you can pay a thousand to get any normal trap card. And then, uh, again, it's not mandatory, you don't have to use the effect, and it's only normal trap cards. Then his second effect is uh, he negates the effect of spell cards that target him. So you're going to be able to attack through trap cards and Book of Moon with Ryu Senshi himself. And, um, some of these cards might be a little confusion confusing like Dark Balter and Ryu Senshi say on them a fusion summon of this monster can only be conducted with the above fusion material monsters. I've seen people get confused thinking that means Metamorphosis can't summon them. Uh, Metamorphosis is a special summon not a fusion summon so that line is not referring to anything with Metamorphosis. Dark Blade the Dragon Knight uh, 2200 attack so it's going to be your highest level 6 fusion monster and then he has the additive effect of when he deals battle damage, you can remove up to three monster cards from your opponent's graveyard. So you can get rid of their Sinister Serpent, their Light Monsters, their Dark Monsters. Then we have Ojama King. Um, so this guy let, has 3,000 defense, which is pretty solid in itself, but it lets you select up to three of your opponent's monster card zones, and they can't be used as long as he's face up on the field. So you can, if your opponent has, say, two scapegoats out, and you bring him out, now they, all five of their zones are locked as long as your Ojama King's face up. Um, you cannot select zones that are already being used by monsters for his the three that you're picking. Dark Flare Knight, um, I've never used this guy before, but um, his effect is that you take no battle damage from battle involving him. So you could come up with a situation where, say, you're really low on life points, you want to attack your opponent but say you have 200 left and you're afraid your opponent's going to summon a Jinzo and attack your monster next turn so you won't take the 200 damage and you can live. Roaring Ocean Sea Snake, we're going to be playing this guy just because he's an aqua so if you're afra afraid of a uh, tribe infecting virus from your opponent you can put out Roaring Ocean Sea S Roaring Ocean Snake and if they discard for aqua it's going to destroy tribe along with the sea snake. So level 7s, um, these don't come up too often, but you are playing Snatch Steel, so you never know what monster you're going to steal from your opponent. If they're playing a Monster Gate deck, they might be playing Fusilor Dragon. Uh, so King, King Dragon's pretty good. Uh, he can't be targeted by any spell trap or monster effects, and none of your, if you have any other dragons, they also gain that ability, and you can special summon a dragon type monster from your hand. Um, probably not playing too many dragons, but not being able to be targeted by Snatch Steel, uh, Sakuretsu Armor, or uh, Exile Force, so he can come in handy. And then a uh, last warrior from another planet, so his effect is as long as he's face up on the field, no monsters can be summoned 
um, but you can still set monsters. So no flip summoning, no special summoning, no normal summoning, but monsters can still be set while he's face up on the field. So he's probably the guy you're going to want to bring out against the Monster Gate deck because that'll stop their scapegoats from being activated, their reasonings, their Monster Gates, their Chaos Monsters. And then a Twin Headed Thunder Dragon just because he is the highest attack one that you can summon with 2800 attack for level 7s. Uh, level 8. Gatling Dragon, so he'd be brought out by playing Metamorphosis on a Black Lesser Soldier. And then his effect is you can toss three coins, and for each head, you have to destroy that many monsters. So you might have to destroy your own monsters if you get too many heads and your opponent doesn't have monsters for you to destroy with them. Uh, Master of Oz, level 9. You're probably not going to be summoning him with Metamorphosis, but again, we play Snatch Steel, so if you ever Snatch Steel a Cyberstein, or if you're playing a Cyberstein deck yourself, uh, you might be bringing out Master of Oz. It's the highest attack fusion monster. All right, so that's it for the main fusion monsters played in GOAT format. Uh, check us out at GOATformat.com if you want to see a list of every fusion monster, since you can, there's no maximum fusion deck size for GOAT format.